SuperiorFandom.com. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Nate. This is my partner, Joe. Hello. Our uh, producer over there, Jarrett. What up? And again, we got uh, Mr. Mike Gong sitting with us. Go America. America. USA. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. We're, uh... Now we're going to talk about Tanaka. Yes, we are. Uh, Mr. Tanaka. What, what, what? You know what I heard? What? Dodgers spring training tickets. At Camel Toe Ramps. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Today. <laughs> okay. See that? Right. You know, there, there. It, it's see, we're there starting off strong. Starting off strong. Start, start starting off strong. Talk to me about. Talk to me about whatever you want. Starting off strong. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You want to do that again? <laughs> what a, no, let's keep that. That's fine. <laughs> what a prick this guy is. Um, I want to talk about the most sought after uh, young man right now in baseball. The what, Joe? Late thoughts after young men. What'd you say? I said late thoughts after young men. Oh, this is just going down real quick. <laughs> so pretty slow. How about another shot of Cino? When you, you need another shot of tequila? Yeah. Give me five minutes. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> we, uh, yes, we, we are actually going to talk baseball. If, if Joe would uh, just kick back and shut his mouth for two seconds. Um... I want to talk about Tanaka. Tanaka, 25-year-old phenom out of Japan. $20 million posting fee, which is dirt cheap, we have come to realize, because of the past posting fees of players. Uh, this kid went 24-0 last year with an ERA of a buck 31. That's just, that's just stupid numbers. That's ridiculous. Uh, he can come in and immediately have an impact on any team he plays for. Um, you put him in a rotation uh, like the Dodgers. You, we, we, our Dodgers would be. You, you notice how I said our Dodgers, Joe? Right? You and my uh, our Dodgers, because he loves the Dodgers. Uh, our Dodgers. You would have a number one Kershaw, number two Grank, number three would be a toss up between you know Ryu. I, I think they would give Ryu the respect and give him the number three because of the season he had last year. Veteran leadership too, possibly you could throw that in there. Ex- yeah, you know. exactly. And well, then well, Tanaka well, number four, and they're they're saying right now that Tanaka, his his scouting report is that he could be a number one on twenty nine different clubs in the majors right now. It, it, and you put him in our rotation, <laughs> and then if if it. Uh, we got Bills coming back as a number five, possibly, um, or Beckett. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, doesn't matter. Basically, we've got four number ones at the top. I want to ask you this, Joe, with that shitty grin on your face. How does it feel to play for a club that didn't have, never even once had a horse in this race? Never, never had an option. Didn't even. You guys are like, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go with uh, what we got. I don't care. Oh, I forget. That's right. You don't. Okay, okay. You don't care. I, I forgot. They did. You guys did. Did just sign Dontre Willis to a minor league deal. So that's and that's Tim that's good. That's gonna that's gonna be your savior right there. That, that's gonna be. That's good. No, that's good. That's good. I like. I like that. <laughs> the rotation for the Giants this year. You've got Bumgarner. Bumgarner's he's, that dude's legitimate. Yeah. He's solid. You can't knock him. He's 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 bum is is phenomenal. Big country. You'll have you'll have bum as as your number one. Big country. Okay, big country. I guess. Um, (laughs) Is he big? He's a country boy. I guess. Sure. (laughs) Uh, Big country. Apparently, as your number one. Um, your number two. Who's your number two, Joe? Matt Cain. Matt Cain is your number two. He was supposed to be your ace last year, although he couldn't ace himself out of a box. <laughs> but two-time he, world two champ. I get it. I Matt get it. King. I get it. Your number three. And perfect game. Your number three. I think Dontrell beats out Tim Tim Linscombe for number three right there. That's pretty good. D, the D train is back and strong in <laughs> Giant Town. If Dontrell Willis <laughs> pitches this year. For the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need you to check on me because something has gone seriously <laughs> fucking wrong. Well, I, I don't know, man. You, 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 San Francisco's, they're showing faith in the guy. They're, they're, <laughs> they're putting him on the payroll. They are. It, 
A minor league deal means more than likely he's getting called up. At some point in time. At some point in time. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's not. A, he he's just, give it's not going to be in April. No. Hold but on. Yeah, you know. We've got we've got Mike in the studio who's who's rocking the old school green and gold A's hat, which true. I, I love it. Like you're not going to hear me saying anything bad about on. the A's. Like you're really never going to hear me say anything bad about the A's. I'd hope and, not. And you've got to give a little respect to Bay Area baseball and bringing a guy home to finish his career. That being said... I got a lot of respect for the A's. Actually, I do. Billy Bean's a... I mean, that dude's a monster. I can can see him on the respect of bringing Don Trell back. He's an Oakland guy. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see him back in the Bay Area again. Uh, I want the A's to go after to J-Roll. Hey, we can't... Yeah, why not? Bring him home. You know, who do we have playing second base right now? uh, Don't you have Jamal Weeks or Jagiri? We we, we actually traded Jamal Weeks uh, to Baltimore, and that's how we got Jim Johnson. So so he replaced replaced our closer with Grant Balfour, which is essentially it's a trade-off. It's you're basically getting the same guy. Do you think less attitude, less coffee, less rage, less you, coffee? Same, I like same, that. Yeah, same production, same numbers. But do you think? I mean, do you really think it's the same though? Because Jim Johnson has had times where he's he's had a little issues with control, and, and Grant Balfour kind of kind of has that fan base with the rage chants in the ninth inning. I mean, that's pretty cool. Like, I mean, are are you sure that's even a lateral move at this point? I, I feel it's a lateral move. I don't know if it's necessarily advantageous for us. Just how, how Grant Balfour pitched. He's mostly, you know, um, he's a power guy. He's got a little bit of a slider. He's going to be pitching down in the zone, though. He's going to create a lot of he's going to create a lot of ground balls. Jim Johnson's a pop-up guy. I think it fares well in ODOT Co. just because we have so much foul territory. I mean, our our stadium is expansive. If we were playing in, if we we're playing in. By the way, I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, no, continue, How do you no. feel about the name ODOT Co.? Never been a fan of it. <laughs> Never been a fan. Can <laughs> sorry. I say? Look, throughout throughout the, throughout the the what the 13 names we have in the last what is seven eight years. Odaku is probably one of the more respectful <laughs> ones out of it. Maybe, yeah. What do, do, you do? Do, y'all, do y'all actually know what the Odaku was? The Odaku was an unsuccessful rebrand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I know. Hold on, hold on. Is this of what we're getting right stock, now? Of overstock.com that did not work. <laughs> incredible. It was actually the most failed <laughs> <laughs> advertising play <laughs> ever. And like, it's just... Oakland Coliseum. Yeah. It, it will forever be no, Oakland Coliseum. Oh, it's Oda Co, my the friend. And shit will rain from the rafters. <laughs> and that's cool because it's the Oda Co. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, 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 I just, just want to say, I, I, I love how we start this story off as, as a, a means of Bay Area baseball pride. And essentially, <laughs> it just falls into the lap of how distraught and depressed <laughs> the, the, the Oakland A's are within their stadium situation. And, well, maybe they'll move to Utah and be the North. <laughs> West pack what you know San Francisco well, who the cra- we're gonna be the Fremont Ridgemont fucking A's of Zoom. no one fucking like care it. yeah it, like it. It, it's it's this is I didn't want to go down this I apologize let, 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 I apologize let, I let me just door. get this off my chest as being a strong devout Dude. A's fan though <laughs> we've gone through the last sem uh, you know how many years you're looking forward to this new stadium talking about Fremont whether it be uh, Fremont San Jose <laughs> Richmond being the, the city to take this on now and now I'm starting to hear the stories of Jack Lennon Square being uh, the new area in which we're going to pump, uh, you know, these multi-million dollars of where, where are these investors that I'm hearing, though? <laughs> uh, I'm really getting scared because I hear, I hear the plans. I'm starting to see the blueprints getting drawn up, and everyone's all excited. But who really is putting the money? In? I've heard it's Clorox money. I heard it's, like, Tide money. We're, we're basically we're building this, this stadium off of bleach money. Yeah. Is where, 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 where we're hitting Clorox, up, baby. Okay. Hey, no, no, I mean that dude. That's a Cartinas Bridge. Like they fix that up. <laughs> like, understand your neighborhood before you start talking shit. Like, you know? come on, like, come on, real quick. Like, we're, don't. The only thing, the only thing that I can say to that though is we're moving closer to the San Mateo than the Carquinas, and I can't remember a solid upgrade that's had for the longest time. So we'll we'll keep our fingers crossed. So I think being Ace fans, being a Giants fan, you've got nothing to worry about. Your next thirty years are the you know, the Carquinas. The Carquinas got fixed up in two thousand and one, if I'm not mistaken. Like you could Google that. But I digress. I think some of the uh, I think some of the money that you're coming from is coming from uh, Peter Goober. 
who who is uh, who is actually tied in with uh, the Guggenheim group. He's he's real good friends with a lot of the guys there. He's also good buddies with uh, Joe Latrobe, the guy that bought the uh, the guy that bought the Warriors. Warriors so like, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think you got to get rid of Wolf and those guys before you do it. And but like, well, let me just say this: best believe. The Giants are not giving up the prop or the, the territory rights San Jose Rays. for uh, San Jose and Silicon Valley. So you, you could just forget that that shit will ever happen. The only time that's going to happen, I think, is through the instance of really getting taken to court. Yeah, you know, that's that's the only way that's going to manifest in May's <laughs> victory. We digress, gentlemen. Yeah. We digress. I know you guys Leave me can, alone. This you guys can, like uh, can go on this for hours. Yeah, you yeah. guys can go on the Bay Area for days. Um, but right now, we need to talk baseball. And uh, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, we got to talk about this A Rod debacle that is that has uh, recently come come to uh, come to light. Why? Oh, Joe. Take another shot of Sino. <laughs> Should we have a shot of Sino? Sino. Sino tequila. Come on, Jalisco, 100% de agave. Hola. Let's Hell have a shot. Yeah. There we go. Hey, drink some Sino. That's what we're drinking. Yeah. Hey, um, drink Sino. Fuck you. Speaking of which, uh, anyways, we, we have to talk A-Rod. I have to talk A-Rod. This, it, it, this is it's incredible that this dude uh, this dude is the new... Well, I'll, put, I'll give him this, this much, that he has actually <laughs> taken away the... Uh, uh, limelight from Lance Armstrong at this point. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. You know, Lance, I, did not think you were I really wanted to Lance Armstrong. You know, <laughs> is, is, is has been reveling in, in the fact that he went and went and he he's uh, you know finally he he, he came tr- came true to, to doing you know having these blood transfusions and and pumping himself full of steroids while he was biking and shit. <laughs> A Rod will be the next one doing that because he's gonna see suing Major League Baseball. He's suing the Major League Baseball Players Association. Um, all it's gonna do is stall fucking time. Possibly, you know, put it in litigation. Possibly, you know, from my lawyer friends at the bar saying that he might actually be able to play next year because he's doing this bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it's all when it's all said and done. He will be the next Lance Armstrong coming forward with tears in his fucking eyes, saying, oh, I'm so sorry for ruining people's lives. Fuck you, you prick. I mean, it's, it's incredible what he's doing. What? First of all, Lance Armstrong's got one nut. That's true. Leave him, <laughs> leave him, leave him alone. Damn it, John There's the one nut club. Second of all, I, I'm not... I'm not one to second guess legal advice at the bar because that's where I, I get my lawyer for the bar. That's where I get my legal advice, also. <laughs> Fact. I, I really do. I give my I give my legal advice from the down and out. And as, that's, as we that's all the should. best place. That's the best place to get legal. If advice. If you guys want legal advice, visit the down and out in downtown Los Angeles because we get lots of lawyers that <laughs> like to drink. That's 501 South, South Spring. Spring. They just renovated. Looks beautiful. I think it's incredible. So, I think. anyways, more digression. Anyway, we digress really back on. <laughs> I'd rather talk about the Odako. No, but um, <laughs> in terms of in terms of um, Alex Rodriguez, um, I, I was listening to uh, ESPN and Buster Only and that whole crew. And, and what the fuck do they know except everything? Yeah, they're um, they're they're. Uh... But but, but I, I've been told that. The guy expects that that appeal process has less than a 10% chance of being successful. And I think, and the other thing that they say is that they expect a verdict within that appeal to happen within the next 10 to 12 weeks. So if he does get to play in April and or May... It's it's unlikely that he's going to have a a strong impact on the Yankees season. And also, I think Brian Cashman and the crew at the Yankees are so pissed off and fed up with A-Rod that they don't want to hear anything They're or even it. have him play. Because, you know what, if they play, they got to pay him. 
And yeah. the shit of it is, is they still owe this motherfucker 60, 70, 80 million dollars. No, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, don't fuck with King George and his money, man. Like, do not, do not fucking do that. Like, I, I don't, I don't see A. Rod playing this year, and I don't see A. Rod playing as a Yankee. I see him playing in 2015 at, with another team after the Yankees work a deal and pay for most of that, you know, 60, 80 million dollars, whatever it is. But I don't, I don't see him playing third base for the Yankees at any point this season, even if he wins that arbitration, just because they don't want to fucking pay him. Well, they've never wanted to pay him. Well, you would think that. Then they offered him a retarded contract. But uh, they, but that's that's the thing. That's what he's going after. He's going after $25 million, which is what he, which is what he would get paid next year. Uh, and then more than likely, if he gets paid $25 million, the dude is stepping away anyways. So it's a... Uh, I mean, that's just, I think that's what's going on. I don't know. You know what I think, too? I think he plays this year, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I see A-Rod coming back. Do you? I, 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 see a red, I see a red playing. I, I see this getting held up in the courts. I see no decision getting made. In that's a, what he's trying to do. In, yeah. in any, uh, in, no time in the near future is this going to get settled. Uh, first and foremost, I, I feel that A Rod will play this year. I don't think A Rod's going to make a difference. When has A Rod played and made a difference within the last two or three years anyway? Yeah, sure. Even if he came in and played in the playoffs, what's he going to do? I don't see him as being a productive player anymore. Uh, not for the New York Yankees, I don't. Um, but who's, who, who's he going to I mean, he can go to Japan, maybe. I don't know. That's, that's what Manny did. I, I, think, he, I think he could and do He so. slid halfway up the, up the. Did you see that when Manny slid halfway up the fucking line before second base? Sorry. I, I, I didn't I, even see that, but I, I, I'm, not, I'm not putting it past you. I'm not saying that Manny wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, the biggest thing this year, I think, with A Rod, I think he will get out of it. I think. Uh, I think Major League Baseball is right in what they're doing, but I, I just don't see him being the A-Rod that we've seen anywhere near uh, in the history. I don't see him getting any, you know, producing any of the type of numbers that he's ever produced. And the type of A-Rod that, uh, that we're going to see this year, honestly, is going to just be a, a fractional it's A-Rod. Gonna be he's going to be a shell of himself. Even if he's healthy, I don't think his mind frame is going to be right for playing baseball. Uh, his heart has, you can always argue, has never really been a part of it. So where do you stand? You know, you have an, you have an aging uh, shortstop who's at third base right now who can bat, but, you know, he's, I think he's just an overpaid DH. So here's the deal. Like, you may or may not be right about Alex Rodriguez's skill set. And I'm fine to say that he may or may not, like, be a DH. And it's obvious that his skills are declined. Who's going to pay him? No. Who's going who's gonna to hire this guy? He's a cancer. There's no nobody. Nobody in the majors is gonna. I mean, it's a Rod. He left Texas, and his years were behind him. Boom. I mean, that's a, you know. Yes, he's had a couple decent years with the Yankees. He won a World Series with the Yankees. He has never been the a Rod that he was with Seattle, and then a couple of years with Texas. Ever. No, he got and, he got his money. He got paid. That's, that's what he wanted to do. And that's my whole thing about this performance enhancing drug bullshit is like, what what the fuck got enhanced? You, you know what I mean? Like, well, he he went he, he's been in a steady decline since you a know, long time. Eleven, twelve. You know, like give me eleven. For the, and, At least. You know, I mean, he, shit, even before that, even when he was doing good, they, they called him Mr. April. You know, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and that's what he was. It's and, an amazing uh, name. He's never, he's never <laughs> been a clutch player. You know, I mean, yeah. whenever, whenever you look at his stats, they've always been somewhat empty. You look you know, like at his, uh, how he drives people in. All of his home runs that he hits are always the solo shots. Mm. They're never at clutch times. They're always coming through the first through fourth inning. You know when it's really not. That's why through his entire career he he didn't win a World Series until he was on an amazing Yankees team that that made a run and he had to like. And who was the, and who was the star of that show that year too? It was Hideki. Hideki. Yeah, he had Godzilla coming in and yeah. like you know pulling the weight through yeah. the left field. So it's you know 
I, I can see the argument. He's a great player. He's going to produce numbers, but I think they're all empty statistics at the end of the day. And yeah, he's going to be he's going to be a, a namesake. He'll sell you some jerseys. He'll be on the front of some papers. He'll give you some hoorah. But I don't really think he's going to be a manageable, uh, distinct quality player for your ball club. And certainly not in your n- certainly not in the bullpen or uh, the clubhouse rather. I want to talk about this. Uh, we we all agree A Rod is kind of a piece of shit. Um, I want to talk about this though, as far as as far as the whole steroid era, and to me, that's getting into the Hall of Fame voting that that just happened. Um, the recent Hall of Fame was to me a complete joke. The recent Hall of Fame voting. I mean, not not the guys who got in, although Biggio did. Like the fact that Greg Biggio didn't get in is mind boggling. That's a travesty. It, I think it's a complete, tra- yes. complete yeah. travesty. Absolutely. We all agree on that. Um, but even more so is you have Greg Mad Dog fucking Maddox. You kidding me? Mr. Mad Dog. Mr. Cy Young. Mad back, Dog. Back to back to His back. His brother is probably a better pitching coach than anybody in the league <laughs> in the last 15 years. Like to back. To you, back. You, 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 missed, you, 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 you didn't let me finish my to backs. <laughs> Hurry up. He had, four <laughs> Cy, he, he had four Cy Youngs consecutively. Um, this guy had... 18 gold gloves, I think 15 of which were consecutive. Uh, His uh, team won the division like every year he fucking pitched. 14 14 straight division titles in Atlanta, which is unprecedented in any fucking sport that there is on the planet. And will never happen again. Ever. Ever. You can see. And it, Who's this fall down? Not even with wild card Who's expansion. Who's this fall down? See that. Let's go. You have, Let's you go have, sure. but uh, hold on, hold on. Let me, I have to finish praising Greg Maddox first and foremost. I mean, like, Gr- Greg Maddox, you have this, this man, he's the most unathletic, dumpy looking fucking dude in the history of baseball who made pit hitters look retarded, who maxed out his, 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 his top speed on his fastball was 88 <laughs> miles per hour. 88. 88. And that's when he was really, really <laughs> pulling back and oh, was exactly. letting it go. He was, yeah. he was oh, really letting he was that thing ripped. go. He was probably juicy. He, and Ken, <laughs> Ken Gurnick, a beat writer for the Los Angeles Dodgers, and it hurts me to say it because it, it, it really upsets me that he's a fi- FTP, Marco. an affiliate of the Dodgers. Um, is the only motherfucker who left him off the ballot because he said, and I quote, I will never vote for anybody who played during the steroid era. Oh. And it's... It, oh, that's right. And it's, it, it's a, and it's a fucking travesty. So it's my a, question is this. If he's not going to vote for anybody in the steroid era, why does he have a vote for the next 15 I, years? Yeah, what? Okay. Why are you even doing it? <laughs> bing, 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 bing. No. You win a prize, Joe, or you should. How, about a, sh- how about a shot of Cino Tequila? Hell yeah! <laughs> Cino Tequila. Come on, y'all. Drink some Cino. No! Sorry. Okay, there we go. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave. Ah, don't do that. It won't be very quickly. You're in a wheelchair. Yeah, fuck you. You can't make jokes like that. Only me. No, no it's not true. <laughs> I'm kidding. The Anyways, it's, it, it's, just, it's, it's a debacle. It's a complete travesty. And, and, and he would have been the, the very first unanimous <laughs> Hall of Famer uh, in the history of, of baseball. And, and he should have been. Really? Yeah, there's never been one. There's never been one unanimous vote for the Hall of Fame. What a dick. Yeah, it's it, it's Ken incredible. Ken is a dick. Mm-hmm. I, I tweeted that fucker yeah, directly and told him so. <laughs> <laughs> How much of a dick that he is. I, I don't know. I just think, I, I, you know. That's fucked up. It's completely fucked up. And then the fact that, that Craig Biggio gets left off by how many percentage of... Uh, point two. Point two point percentage two. of a point. <laughs> That's just... Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Chris Schindler, uh, who was on last week with us, my boss at the Down and Out in Los Angeles. The uh, winner of the BC. The winner of, yes. And well, by the way, first and third, second and third place, you're going to get announced soon, I promise. We <laughs> don't know who you are yet. I'm drunk. <laughs> um, Chris, uh, oh Christ, I digress because I forgot what I was saying. See, look at this. This is what happens when Chris we... Chris said something about Craig Biggio. No. Yes. Oh, that's not what happened. That's what you really got there talking about. Oh, we're Jesus such a Christ, we're a mess. So, no, look, here, here. Why did we start drinking again? 
Why didn't we finish? Yeah. <laughs> That's the question. We were drinking for Greg Maddox. Yeah, we were. To Greg Maddox. To, to, to Mad Dog. To Mad Dog. A shot of, a shot of Sino. 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 <laughs> for old Mad Dog. The old Sino Tequila. Hola! <laughs> this message brought you to Sino Tequila. Sorry. So here's the drill. I don't understand how you can have a Hall of Fame if you're going to ignore an era of baseball players, especially when we're just beginning an era of arguably the most talented baseball players that, that have played the sport. I, I mean, forget the guys that did or did not get put in this ballot or next ballot or any of that. If this Ken Gernick doesn't want to vote for that, that's fine. Uh, and what Bud Selig also getting getting to the, our commissioner needs to realize is that uh, steroids saved baseball. Steroids 100% saved baseball. 1995, after a holdout year, and you've got a, you've got a race of home runs. Chicks dig the long ball. You've got a race of Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. That's a fact. Uh, just crushing mammoth fucking home runs between 420 and 500 feet uh, every every, night. every time every night like then making it look simple and it brought people back to the ballparks it put money in his fucking pocket and he's and he's trying to say that steroids have been a bad thing have been a taint on this sport and this is a sport built since the beginning that since the beginning of baseball time 140 years ago or so that is built on cheating it has been it, you know you can't make any excuses and say well you know look this is just something that's happened within the last 15 or 20 years we need to the game of baseball has bi- has been built around cheating it's called stealing second base yeah, exactly stealing i mean stealing. how many ro- how many rosin bags have you seen just on the pitcher's mound if you're trying to get a grip there's i mean the fucking spitball are you kidding me how many times did someone just keep a, uh, a little strip of sandpaper in your back pocket just to get a little yep. bit more break on your on your curveball like this has been going on for years and the proof is really in the pudding because if you look at the guys who are on the ballot that have been juicing compared to the guys who are a generation before them who haven't been juicing it's really I mean it's a telltale sign of who's gonna who should be in the Hall of Fame because when you got guys like a Rafael Palmero when you had guys like a Barry Bonds who are on the list and a McGuire and a Sosa and you compare it to the guys you know from you could say as yesteryear or just you know they a found a cork in Mickey Mantle's bat that they auctioned off like, I I, I hate saying this, but who's more interesting to watch those? Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, and Barry Bonds, or Tim Raines and Jack Morris? Oof. Now, here's, uh, now here's the thing. I love me some Tim Raines. I love Jack Morris. I, I think they both deservedly have spots in the hall. Tim Raines could ball. Leave yeah. Tim, uh, Tim Green. We're not Tim taking anything away from him, Joe. We're not know, taking anything away from him. I'll be honest with you, Joe. I think your point's entirely valid, and I agree with you, you know, 110%. I think Tim Raines deserves to be in the hall. Uh, what I what I don't think uh, should happen though is I don't think he needs to fucking fight out with some of these guys like Tim a guy like Tim Raines should have been in the hall years ago. Yes, he should have. You know, and, and and to have him go against guys now that that aren't getting voted in because of the era that they were in baseball. Well, Jesus Christ, how many <laughs> dirty eras of baseball have there been and will there be later on? But Sealy isn't just taking care of baseball for the rest of his life. There are going to be ways for players to cheat, and they will find ways. I'll tell you what, Mike. Because it's baseball. If the babe had had access to performance enhancing drugs, oh, are you kidding me? He would have juiced out of his fucking gourd. Uh, that dude no. trained on Twinkies and fucking beer. Uh, Ty Cobb would have done Hot the same dogs. thing, you know? Ty, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess Twinkies weren't really around in the 20s, but it's... it's uh, they didn't process food. Yeah. <laughs> but if they were, Ty Cobb would have been eating them. Like, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I think they did make them back then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then Ty was eating them too, uh, that asshole. So here's, here's, my, here's my take on all of this. P.E.D. or not... This is the most talented era of baseball players. I agree with you. That, that we're entering. And there's no, there's no way to just ignore an era, for one, okay? Whether you agree with it or not. For two, even, even so, if you ignore the era and keep those guys out of the Hall of Fame, you're not properly paying homage to the guys that did it properly. 
like Derek Jeter or Mariano Rivera or Tim Raines or Greg Maddox or 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 exactly. you're, you're just you're just not properly paying off Chipper Jones to those guys. Chipper. Which, which, and to, to just to just shun a generation because person X thinks it's wrong. Like that's the most racist, bigot shit I that, that I've heard agree with you. in in the, the longest time, and it's just it just I, I don't know. It puts a real it puts a real sour taste in my mouth uh, about the whole sport and what the people that cover our sport are are really trying to do. And as Nate said, like sure they they save the sport. In 94, 95, and he's he's dead correct, and that that hurts me to say it as it always does. <laughs> but but here's here's the other thing that, that's also like super clutch Love about this, this is since since the, the the turn since they've turned the corner and decided to like open their blind eye about it, the baseball drug policy is so much more stringent than any drug policy ever in professional sports. 100%. You're, you're talking about bringing in a, you're talking about bringing in the federal court to make it so A-Rod will probably not play baseball again. Taking people you're, before Congress. You're talking about bringing in a federal court to take away one of the top baseball players that there ever were. There's no goddamn way under any circumstances that they would ever bring in the federal court to eliminate Tom Brady from NFL football under, under no goddamn circumstances. And everybody gives this shit that baseball is not progressive. Man, they need to watch what the fuck is going on. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, it's been a game based on cheating, and John Lester and some of those guys have proven that they're going to find a new way to cheat no matter what, every time they fucking do it. And, and it's just... I mean, cut the bullshit. Like, what happened happened, and whether you need to celebrate it or whether you agree with it is irrelevant. Like, it happened, and it needs to be noted for and it's, everyone. And it's still happening, and you still got guys that are getting busted for juicing, and it, it is what it is. They're trying to, they're trying to get rid of, uh, of PEDs in, in baseball. Okay. All that does, like, we're going back to what we said earlier— Throughout every era, era since baseball was was founded, it was created. Motherfuckers have been cheating. So when if, if they find a way to actually completely one hundred percent eliminate performance enhancing drugs, it's just gonna be something different. But you know, you guys were both touching on, on a subject of just baseball changing, and you know. I, I like the steps that, that, that Major League Baseball is going, uh, that they're taking to rectify the game. To be honest with you, my favorite steps are of actually changing the game, though. I've seen more steps uh, implemented within the last two years to try to change the game of baseball to make it a safer game, a better game, a more plausible game without the errors that you've been seeing. You know, and if you look at calls from, like, Jim Joyce within the last few years, yeah. uh, you know, uh, of just... Yes. Uh, per, you know, imperfect game calls at home plate. The fact that you're trying to implement a, an instant replay, I think there there are really large, drastic steps to try to make the game a little bit more clean, a little bit more honest. Uh, instead of just being able to take out the catcher, trying to make it cleaner. That, that um, upsets me. I, and I I think I think it should because the I think a, cer a, cer a, a certain amount of the game is being taken away, and I agree mm -hmm. with you, Nate, uh, as far as it it, it is uh, it is changing, and maybe it's not for the best. But there are being those steps to try to to try to ratify the game to make it a little bit a little bit tighter though, and I, I like the direction that they're moving though. You yeah, know? yeah. yeah it, for better or for worse. Yes. But is it fast enough? I mean, what's it to say that you have America's pastime, the oldest professional sport in this country, is the last one to be adopting the it, instant, it, replay. instant replay? Mm -hmm. No, the I agree. Last one to be changing. And it, it, and it would and it does sports so like there's there's so many argued plays it's because it's it's a, it's a sport built on tears. I, I think it's the heritage too that goes behind it you know as, yeah. as much as it like as much as there's the connotation that that baseball is slow to change and I understand that they don't have replay and they they don't have a lot of shit that like other sports have they do. 
they are changing and they are making those efforts. But they're when, reluctantly, though. No, reluctantly. Yeah, you're, you're dead right. They are making them reluctantly. Now, however, all of those efforts, if you compare that to a sports, say football or hockey, like, let, let's say football. Hockey you, has instant replay. You've got people... No, but... but mm, fuck, On goals. Fuck replay. Fuck replay for a second. Okay. The, the, you've got people in hockey... Dying and getting mental problems on on concussions and bullshit syndromes, and they're not even getting insured. Like fuck, changing the game. They're not even insuring those athletes. They're not even insuring the people that bring the money in. They're not even giving them guaranteed money. They're not saying, oh shit, like you could go out on Sunday and fucking die, like and literally fucking die. Like, we're going to give you a check for that. They're saying, shit, if you don't die, you might get paid if you catch a touchdown pass. Like, that's that's bullshit. Like, that's just bullshit. Well, they, I actually, the hockey doesn't insure their players? No, NFL doesn't. Okay, you said hockey. I was like, wait a minute, you confused me, Joe. I, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I, I'm talking about NFL. I got a fucking thing. Like, wait wait a minute. Minute. I'm fired up. I was, I, was, I was there with you, but I was like, I just don't know if that's right. No, NFL. <laughs> NFL and all the problems with CTE and the things of that nature. Is no, more there's, what there's, I was there's, there's, to discuss. Well, that, that, that's been a huge issue for a long time, you know. But they still haven't fixed it. They're trying. Yeah, like, they haven't really, re- they haven't acknowledged yeah, you're, it. Yeah, you're goddamn talking to me about replay. I'm talking about people. People dying. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So all the sports are being slow as you die. But well, you know, there's a certain as far as speeding up the game. What you were saying earlier, though, just to touch base on that, though, baseball inherently is one of those sports where there's no clock on it. There's no timing of it. That's to try, the beauty of it. To try to try to speed up the game, Hell you essentially yeah. need to have a rotation of five Mark Burleys to try to get out of there in an hour and a half. Otherwise, the game is just going to be a three-hour game, right. like it or I not. I don't. You know, I don't necessarily just, think we're talking about trying to like. Trying to like speed up the game as much as we're talking about trying get to get the calls right. A, as much as we're trying to to discuss like speeding up like the the way the game morphs over a extended period of time. A, and like I get it that they're slow to replay and they're slow to things like the catcher collisions and, and of that nature. But I mean, I would rather take that apprehension to change and trade that in for legitimately protecting our players and protecting the play, the people that entertain me as fans. And I agree with what you're saying right there, Joe, because that's why I actually kind of appreciate the new rule as far as catchers being a little bit more protected behind because I felt that that was one of the only people in the game that was kind of getting their necks just thrown out on the line. Now, I think that's a, it's a huge part of the sport. Collisions at the plate are always I, going I to happen. I love it. I and love I, it. And I, lo- I love it too, but I feel if there's if there's one player out of the, your entire squad who's getting thrown under the bus, it's the catcher. There's one person who's got to go out there and he's got to take us his bats. He's got to go out there and he's got to learn, you know, every pitcher, whether it be starters or your mid relievers or your closers. He's got to be out there the entire time. He's on his fucking knees and he's the last guy, the only guy that can get fucking run and belted into by right. And hey, when by you, any when you opposing uh, base path runner, I find that to be such a, an injustice. Just for how how uh, it, you know just invaluable the catching position is. We we like to call it the Buster Posey rule. Really. I call it the Ray Fossey rule. Fuck yourself. Yeah, um, you're, here's where uh, I, okay, I, okay, I, okay, you're going a little further back. I get where, it. I, and, you know, obviously this is where I apply to more of an Oakland A's standpoint. Uh, but I think they're both viable opinions on the side. But it's it, it, I'm it's, not gonna buckle, but I'm glad you're <laughs> It's a no 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 he, he they'd love yeah, this, I, they'd love this debate between you and me because I'm very I want I it, it angered me when I read when I read that they were trying to take bowling over a catcher out of the major leagues, I wanted to kick a fucking hole through my wall. <laughs> and I agree with you. I, I think there's there's something I, substantial that's going to be missing from baseball it's, this it's, next season without it's incredible. It. It's incredible. I, I, I think you're I think you're dead on. And there's nothing wrong about your opinion. So uh, are they going to do this? Like I and and Joe and I, and I haven't. If, if you've read it, Joe, I haven't read it. Um, 
They are they gonna out? Are, can catchers no longer block the plate? I, I think you can block the plate. You just have to have control of the ball before that. You have to be. But if you block the plate, where's the runner supposed to go? Is he supposed to jump over you? Slide exactly. under you? S- slide around? Or do uh, run? Jump? You know, kind of do a fucking Mickey Mouse or like like a? I, I think you apply it. Tom in, Jerry, Tom and Jerry type. Deal I, think you, I think you apply it in every other sense. If you're a third baseman and you don't have the ball in hand, you can't block the you can't block the bag. If you have the ball in hand, though, you're allowed to be. You're not, if you're not blocking the plate, you get run over, Joe. What? This is this is all fucking nuance and wonderful. We're we're talking about we're talking about the Hall of Fame. Yeah, here. true. We or, did or digress. That's, that's where this started. <laughs> yes. if, if we're talking if we're talking about the Hall of Fame, the fact that the people that have put everything they have into this game, whether they did drugs or didn't. Blood, sweat, and tears. And, and those guys didn't get adequately recognized <laughs> among their peers. Like, that that's just, I mean, that's just bullshit. Well, uh, that, and, my, and I mean, if you want to call it, if you want to call a sport slow to change and so on and so forth, and you want to play like the purest role, I mean, I, I get it, but it, it's just... It's just not appropriate, and it's an incomplete way to look at the game. And, and to the people that do that, I just, I just hope they they see everything that happened over twenty years instead of the nuanced crap that they didn't get right. Because there's so many of those among every sport. And if you're gonna get yourself blocked up on the fucking nuance of it and not see the entire picture. None of these motherfuckers from any sports would be I agree with you. You, you, If you want to bring up that point, though, I think you open up a whole new can of worms, and I don't think MLB has really addressed that for a matter of time. Because if you're going to bring up that point, as far as them acknowledging some of the old school guys and what they brought to the table, then where the hell is where the hell's Pete? I want the head yeah, No, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, I agree. Maybe, but maybe, you're not going to get an argument I'm not, for the, me. I'm not the first guy to bring no, it up. No, you're not going to get that argument. For many of you. Like, yeah, I agree yeah, with yeah. you. You're, you're dead right. right. I'm not gonna be you're that. dead right. Because the full school baseball is going to be, if it's going to be brought up, and it's, if, if it's going to be revered in the same old-fashioned way it should be then, I think the hit king should be in the hall. How is he not? You're dead right. How is he not? Yeah. Anyway, you're saying it's a travesty yeah. earlier, Joe. I entirely, I entirely agree with you. Pete it's, Rose is not going to go uh, until he dies. He, he won't go in. It'll, it'll probably be he'll the win. It'll, it'll probably be the day that he dies yeah. because MLB is just that goddamn spiteful. And it'll be a new commissioner, and the commissioner that is Absolutely. there will be like, you know, fuck. Uh, and and the thing, the thing is, is, is they. Ha- MLB has not taken any steps to congratulate Pete Rose within the last twenty which some odd years, which is incredible. Which is inc- which is incredible. I, I think it's. I, I, I no, think it's you're bullshit. That, it's in what? Well, it's bull- it's that, bullshit. That's but, what we're both. That's we're all agreeing on it. I know. You know, and uh, I, I, I find it just, you know, preposterous that you can't celebrate the greatest hitter, one of the greatest all players. Time. Yeah. And uh, just greatest players that. of well, all the time. Great, yeah. our, well, I can't call him the greatest hitter of all time, but I mean, hell, like, he, the, he, 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 the hit king. The hit king. You can certainly make that argument, he, though. Well, you can make the argument, but the, exactly. I mean, but he... he if you're going to the greatest hitter, then we have to get into average and all but, that. Yeah, but there's but really that's not even made, what the conversation. I know is. it's not. I know it's not. I'm sorry. I, sorry. But 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 my point is, we we all agree on Pete Rose. It, Pete Rose. It, it's a complete and utter debacle. The fact that the dude. It's a hit, goddamn disgrace. Like it, call it what it is. Yeah. Two words. Hit king. Yeah. Hit king. Hit, hit king. king. Hit king. Guys. Period. Boom. Uh, it's uh, a. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not debating it. No, we, we, all, we all agree. We all agree. We all completely agree. It's just a, it, Too bad baseball can't figure it out. Who the fuck votes for these motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah. That's why, like, sometimes I really feel like that the NFL Hall of Fame is is, is a more uh, elite Hall of Fame than uh, Major League Baseball. Yeah. Because Major League Baseball it's, it's is... It's more complete because... It's more complete. Exactly. The, like, the, it, and, and the other thing about Major baseball, too, Major League Baseball like, is that you, you weren't... You know, well, we don't. Like, these, like, the writers, they don't really like you very much. It's, it's a popularity fucking contest. Popularity contest, and I think it's 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 an abstract numbers game because there's a certain set of made numbers in which you're elected in the hall, and guys like how Andre Dawson can just be accepted in, uh, and guys who have the same numbers right around that are elected as like not so elite members of the hall, like guys like Jim. I do Rice. love the Hawk though. I yeah, well, I, and I, I love the Hawk too, but I'm like a guy like the Hawk can get in, and every it's just like unanimous, like oh, are you kidding me, Dawson?
Dawson got in. And then the Revere players like 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 a Jim Rice, and you're like, well, he got in too, but this guy's a bum and he should never been in. Well, he obviously it's, made it in. So what's your argument then? Fix it. His numbers are identical. If if it's that apparent, then then fix it because obviously there's some type of bias yeah. that's going on. You know. Oh, baseball, we love you so much. Uh, it's, it's January 15th. And I could go on with San Francisco pitchers that didn't make it in the hall, too, but we, we'll save that one for another time. Nate, though. is there a... Hey, he's that stuff. You know. <laughs> is there a, a countdown you want to make some people aware of? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, la- last year... That was uh, gross, by the way. Let me tell you. Joe lost a bet to me last year. Yes, Joe did lose a bet. He, uh, I'm sure he'll come see. opening day this oh. year, opening day, we will all witness Joe, Joseph Joey Holt in Dodger Blue. It's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find him a flag to put on the back of his chair. I'm going to parade him into Dodger Stadium for opening day baseball. Cause, uh, because, uh, again, baseball hates the Giants so much. That even, after they, even after they won the World Series. Not just the Dodgers, but baseball. Baseball hates the, Do- it hates the Giants so much. Even after the World, they won the World Series, they had to open their year at our stadium. Uh... I need to pee, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> then, I, he, opening day, is wearing uh, Dodger Blue. Dodger Blue, that's it. It's going to be incredible. To, to, I think that's fine. I, as long as you don't pump your fist like Gibby, then we're okay. Uh, yeah, we're, no, still, we're still on talking terms. Then. Look, I mean, I lost a bet, but I need to clarify what this bet is. I, I was allowed. Do it. Yeah, okay, you, you, what, what's, your, what's your version of the bet? <laughs> My version of the bet, I'd rather, I'd rather just put it this way. The bet was, <laughs> too embarrassing. the bet was that I was, that I had to show up to the bar in Dodger Blue and I was allowed to parade down, and I had to parade down Spring Street. There was nothing about I had to go into the stadium. <laughs> however, however, there was nothing that ended the bet on Spring Street. So technically, there's nothing that says you cannot try to get me into Dodger Stadium or Dodger Blue. Oh, but, yeah, sure. but once, but once You're confused, we turn off the Spring You're Street confused. on that stupid shuttle, it's fair fucking game. You're confused. There was never a date set. No never, date. Ne- never Did not ti- argue that. Never a timeline set. Did not set. argue that. No time. Um, Did not argue that. Ba- the bet was whoever won the division wore the other colors. You had period. No, you're you're incomplete. I'm not incomplete. That was the bet. Period. There was never there was never a timeline. There was never. I, there I was, said I was, said I can't. He, he holds me to this. He says the bet was him parading me down Spring Street. I'm like no 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 no. That's what the bet. Was. You were drunk apparently. I said I can't no. wait to see you in Dodger Blue. Apparently, yeah. I said I can't wait to see you in Dodger Blue and roll your ass down the middle of Fifth Street oh, with a, with a Dodger flag on the back with you know wearing Dodger Blue. And I gotta do that. That doesn't mean that that was the bet. The bet yes, was I put you in Dodger Blue if you guys. The bet was you got to parade me down Spring Street and you and Drew had to work a shift. Regardless, okay. That was the goddamn bet. That was to that be was continued. The, We're gonna this this. I, I just want to know what jersey you're gonna be wearing while you're getting. Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson. No, Brian he, Will, oh, was, I can't believe he actually wants to wear Brian Wilson. I was, I was hoping it was like all made of signs. Ooh, that'd be good. <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> that. if you I was, find I was, out, I was hoping for like it. a '90s throwback or something like that. You can though. find an old made of signs jersey. I will rock the nine. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to go for like Steve Saxon, like too easy. Way too, no, no, far too fucking easy. I, think I, I will rock the nine if you can <laughs> yeah. give me yeah. an old sign. I think I'm making a cur- cl- uh, current. I think I'm going Kershaw on him. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's 26 be days until Van Day. I think, I think Spring deep. training tickets went on sale at Camel Toe Ranch. You stop with your Camel Toe bullshit. Well, why do you want Kershaw so much? If you're going to parade him around, I say you got to make it worth it. You got to go for something. Well, go for Laduca. Ooh, yeah, maybe like a, Duke, or like a Sean, like a Sean Green or something like Garnier. that. Gagne. <laughs> yeah, you want Gagne. But you gotta wear the goggles though. Too. You gotta wear the goggles. <laughs> you gotta wear the goggles if you're gonna do it. 
<laughs> we like, got to go of, home. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We, uh... Remember, we're that, little... remember that bomb that Bonds hit off Kanye? <laughs> 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 that 